This is a visual demonstration on how to use the Wireless LAN Professional Survey Tray. Hi, I'm Fernando Munoz with Wireless LAN Professionals. If you have received one of these in the mail, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to configure and how to use it and different tricks on how to use it. So, if you receive the tray, you should have received the survey tray itself and a couple of straps. So, let's start by setting up the straps. First thing I'm going to do is lay my tray flat and get these buckles out. And I'm going to set up one strap at a time from the front left and snap it in place to the back on the right. Like this. Now let me grab this other strap. Then I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go front, right, snap it into place, like that. And the other end is going to go to the back on the left. I can adjust it now for a different length based on your size. You're going to have adjusted to my size. And I'm going to let the cushion towards the tray because that's going to be my support on my shoulders. So the way to mount it is going to be you set up an X shape with the straps. You just put it this way so you can see better. In a way that I'm going to be able to put my arm through on each side. There's my left arm, my right arm, and I'm going to set my head through. That way, if I already have the computer in the tray, I will be able to hold it into place. Now, the cushions should be on the back panel set up like this. That way, the support, the weight that you're going to be carrying here is going to be distributed on both of your arms. It's not going to be pulling from one side or the other. It should lay fly like this, and you should be able to open the tray and have your computer into place. Some people like to have it up higher. In my case, I like to have it a little bit lower, so I'm going to extend the straps by just moving them and then adjusting the size and adjusting the cushion so they are on the show. Once I have it into place, I have my hands free, I can bring my computer over and adjust it. This part is going to sit in your stomach or in your belt buckle based on the height that you want it and you want it level in a way that it's not going to flip backwards or it's going to be too uncomfortable for you. It's going to feel weird at the beginning, a little bit strange because you're carrying something that you usually don't carry. But it's going to be a much easier way to carry your computer when you are out there doing surveys. In this case, this tray, I have a smaller computer, I have plenty of room here if I want to use a mouse. Some guys like to use a wireless mouse, but if you are out there on the job, if you drop it, you're going to be in trouble. I personally like to use a wire mouse. That way, if I drop it, it will still be hanging off the tray. One of the other uses we can get out of the tray, and what makes it so nice for wireless professionals, is that we carry out a lot of gear and nick. So you have room in one of the bigger trays to add other devices, either a distance measuring device or a mouse in this case. If you're good with the trackpad, then that will be fine. But some of the other uses that we can get with the tray is this Velcro on the front has multiple purposes. One of them is that I can put my NICs and I added some Velcro to the USB hub and I can put my NICs here on the front. Now, the cable let me show you one of the nice features of this tray, and is that the cable that connects to the USB hub can be fed through either side of the trap tray. You can see my thumbs sticking out there. We can use that to connect our USB hub or other devices that we can hang on the front. So in this case, I'm going to attach this hub with the mix in here. Or I can bring it from the other side as well, based on the devices that you have. I'm going to attach it, 
and there it is. That way you don't have cables or wires hanging on the side getting stuck on door knobs and door handles. Uh, the other thing we can do is, in this case, I'm going to bring this card. I'll drop it, okay? I have a MetaGig Wi-Fi card. I'm going to put it on the front. And using the attachment, I'm going to mount it right on the top of my survey tray. With the cable that it comes, you can either attach it to your hub or you can also use the other side to fit the other cable and attach that card directly into your computer inside of the tray. Get this out, plug it in, and mount it again. Again, that way all the cables will be inside and will be protected behind your computer. You're still comfortably using uh, your hands and you can add as many devices as you can. Remember that battery life is gonna go down as you add more devices. But this way you'll be able to carry all these devices and your hands are still free. The Velcro on the front has a different purpose as well. You can add uh, patches. We have a series of uh, Velcro patches. You can attach the ones that you have or that you like. You can have a company logo or any message you can attach there. These straps on the side will allow you to change the tilt in your screen. If you like to have it a little bit backwards, then you will just extend it in a way that your screen, your computer, will be open at a higher angle. Or if you want to make it closer, all you have to do is just pull on the strap and that will make it 90 degree angle. If you happen to have a tray that has the MOLI system, like this one here, has the multiple different straps, then you can attach one of the custom USB cases that will be explained in a separate video, but they are designed to be mounted using the MOLI system here, using the straps. And we'll show you how to use that in a separate video. To get off the tray, if you don't have a table, um, one of the recommendations, I unfortunately did this live on one of the conferences, dropped my computer, of course, the purpose of this tray is to help you keep your computer in place. You can use this as your carrying case as well, but make sure that you close. You can just get the tray off and zip one of the sides at least of the tray. Let's get this side here. That way you will be able to get off your, your survey tray and use it as a carrying case without dropping your device. Also, one of the features, one of the many features, is going to be that this Velcro on the front, if you happen to have one of the USB cases with the Velcro inside, you will be able to put the uh, USB hub with the mix inside Get this spine out. Okay. I can have my mix in there and they're protected. Sometimes you have to do surveys outside. There there will be trees and, and bushes, and then you'll be able to protect your mix in a way that uh, the branches are not gonna knock your cards off. The cable is still being fed through a hole and inside this case, and it will protect your cards. And worst case, if something knocks off your whole USB case, you will still have your cards and your hub protected in this case. That's one of the many uses of this uh, wireless LAN professional's custom survey tray. Enjoy!